Hey, what's up? It's Wild with Blockchain Academics. We're going to go into how to buy and sell using Binance, the largest cryptocurrency exchange. Before we do that, make sure to subscribe, like, and if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Make sure to follow because we have our giveaway coming out. We're going to do $1,000 uh, very soon, so make sure to stay tuned. So, Binance.com, if you don't have, don't have an account, you can support us, and you can also save on some fees by signing up below. So, let's get started. If you do not have any crypto, you can actually buy crypto on Binance.com. You can send a bank deposit. You can send like a wire. You can use credit card or debit card to buy cryptocurrency. And surprisingly, their fees are, you know, fairly, they're, they're pretty fair uh, opposed to using Coinbase or using an ATM or something like that. So if you don't have any Bitcoin or cryptocurrency, you could buy here. But if you want to send it to the exchange, you'll go into your wallet. You'll go into overview and then it'll take you to a list of your coins. If you have some Bitcoin, for example, you can search Bitcoin and then deposit that directly. Or let's say you have some XRP, you can search XRP and then send that directly by clicking deposit. It'll bring you to a deposit address and then you can send your cryptocurrency and you're ready to trade. So let's get to the front page. You'll come here, you'll go to exchange and now we're ready to trade. This may look pretty foreign for you uh, if you just started trading cryptocurrency or if you're fairly new to this. So we'll go over everything together. On the right hand side, you have all the different types of pairs. So I trade in Bitcoin pair because I'm putting Bitcoin to buy another coin to make more Bitcoin. But we can go into fiat, which is USDT or other types of um, cash, like types of fiat, types of currencies. So you can go into odd or euro or gbp gbp so let's go into usdt and then you can start looking at all the pairs and you can actually filter it by price you can filter it by pair you can filter it by um the the change of the day so how much they're up or down so let's go back into the bitcoin pair and i'm going to show you guys how to place a buy how to place a sell market buy market sell limit buy limit uh sell and how to place a stop loss so you're ready to start trading so we're on the bitcoin let's say we want to put some bitcoin into xrp so let's click xrp here and now you have xrp in front of you you can see how much it's worth in satoshis you can see how much it's worth in the dollar value what it's up to date what the high was what the low was and the volume here you have the order book on the left you can see all the cells you can see what people are trying to sell for and you can see uh the buy side as well and some people use this as actually indicators to trade to see if orders are stacked on the buy or sell side and how heavily they're stacked or when they see tons of volume volume coming in so we have some Bitcoin that we want to buy XRP with let's say we wanted to buy XRP right here if it kept coming down this would be a limit order so you can buy using limit market or have like a stop limit order so a st we'll go over each of them a limit order is essentially where you're not buying market and market would be buying at any price it would be buying the next sell order and if you eat that all up it would go up to the next sell order so if we had a million dollars you would be buying everything up uh, in order from the lowest price to the highest and whatever people are willing to sell so that's what a market buy is like you're not picking the price you're just buying what's there for you to buy in the order book if we were going to go to a limit order that's a little bit different now we have the, the opportunity we have the ability to put which price we want to buy at and this looks like a solid price 15 16 this is some support here so let's draw a line there you can see we use this as support used it as resistance so Hell, you know, if it comes here, we want to buy this up. So instead of 2125, where it's currently at, we want to buy at 1575, which shows you the dollar price as well, 80 cents. So we want to buy 0 0.1 Bitcoin worth, and let's put that buy in there. You can see now that the buy order has uh, appeared there, and if price comes down there, you know, while you're out for a walk, maybe on a date, maybe at the beach, literally everything's set up now for it just to happen for it to trigger and buy so 
I can leave that there and I'm going to leave that there and hopefully price comes down there so I can get a nice buy on XRP. So we've now just put a buy order on XRP. Now let's, and we we I showed you guys what market is. So you saw what I did with limit. If it hits 1575, it will use 0 0.1, approximately $5,000 to buy um, XRP. If I click buy XRP on limit, it'll just buy $5,000 of whatever price it is. So 2130, and there's more than uh, 0 0.1, there's 0 0.86 for sales. So I wouldn't move the price up. I would just be buying at 2130 at that price. I would rarely like, um, promote buying a market order you want to get a limit order because you don't want to fomo into the market you want to get a good price and there's no reason for you not to use the limit order or trying to time a perfect buy or and you can also use multiple limit orders you can split that one uh order 0 0.1 into five orders 0 0.02 and you can ladder them to get a better position and i would highly recommend that so we went over limit, we went over market, and let's go over stop limit. We're gonna use that more of a stop loss, or people use it as breakaway trades. So let's say the resistance here, when the price breaks above 30.78, buy. So you're breakaway trading, but I'll show you guys how to set up a stop loss with one of the coins that we have. We have Tron, which is very popular as well, TRX. So you can see I have set up, actually I've set up some cells right now, and these are sell limit orders. So this is perfect, I pulled it up because you can see that I have some sell limit orders at 355 and 399. Right now the price is at 210. So let me cancel these sell limit orders and I have 355 and 399. So you can see that the Tron went back into my account. And I wanna sell these when the price gets higher. I may not be around the computer, but I wanna make sure I can sell this right away. So let's go into doing that. I want to sell half my Tron at 360. I think I got a little bit greedy there and I'm asking for more now. Or was it 375? 375. Whatever, we're gonna sell th at 375, and then we're gonna sell the rest of the Tron at 399, just under, um, just under 400. So let's go ahead and do that. And you can see that both of our sell limit orders are there. When price hits there, we are gonna sell automatically. I'll show you guys another cool one that we can do. Let's go to BTC USD. We have 0.2 left. And the current price of Bitcoin is 50,856. Let's sell all of our Bitcoin, but we want to put a limit order at 100,000. When Bitcoin reaches $100,000, we want to sell our 0 0.199 for 20 grand, approximately 20 grand if we're rounding up. So let's sell that. And you can see now that our order is at 20,000, or our order is at $100,000 per Bitcoin, and that'll sell the remainder of the Bitcoin that we have. So that's an also, also a cool thing that you could do. You can have these high target areas and you can use limit orders to sell. So let's go into a coin that I don't have any orders in and that could be uh, Litecoin, for example. I have some Litecoin, I have 10 Litecoins and I have a buy order down here as well. Just in case we slam down, I wanna add more Litecoin to my position. Let's say I wanted to use a stop loss though. If Litecoin fell below here, I wanna sell. I wanna exit the trade. So how do we do that? We'll go into stop limit and we'll put all of our Litecoins and a lot of people ask me, what's the difference between stop and limit? Limit is the actual price you're selling for. Stop is the price that it needs to hit for you to trigger that sell. So right here would be 0 0.032. So 0 0.0032, uh, uh, three six. So it needs to hit this price. And you can see when we change this, it's gonna change the amount of Bitcoin. So when we change that, so that's the actual uh, amount you're selling at. So if it hits 0 0.003236, we're gonna sell at a little bit less 
just so it has room in case it's it's crashing really hard. So let's go ahead and do that and the order confirmation pop-up will come. If the last price drops to 0.003226, an order to sell 10.71 Litecoin will be sold at 0.032. Let's get that going. And now you can see I have a stop losses there, uh, there as well. So I have a buy order here, but if it comes here, Cut the trade. That kind of gives you some security, uh, and that gives you, you know, some peace of mind, so the markets don't crash, and then you're left in a position. Uh, you can come down here and see all your open orders, your order history, your trade history, and funds. Aside from that, that's a very quick tutorial on how to use Binance to buy, sell, to fund your account, and to use all these different uh, types of orders, limit, market, and stop limits. So thank you guys for watching. If you want to see anything specific from charting coins to coin predictions to IDO reviews or whatever it may be, post that in the comment. Make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.